What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I've got a video talking about some great value products for your desk setup. So whether you're a student or someone who's looking to improve your productivity and gaming hybrid setup, this is a video where I brought together products that I feel like allocate budget very well. There's ones that you might spend a little bit more on because you use it a lot, but other products are on the budget side and kind of get the job done, but at the same time, I allow you to overall have a nice desk setup combination. I wanna give a huge thanks to Rocket and their peripherals for sponsoring this video. And one of the products we're gonna be looking at is their Cone Pro Air Mouse, which is super light at just 75 grams and fully wireless, which is one that is really good for gaming and productivity, but also looks incredible with the RGB lights. As always, all the products are gonna be linked in the description section below. And if you guys look to win a product from this episode, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below with your Instagram username and follow me over on Instagram. And I'll announce the winner when this video hits 2000 likes. So for starters, the desk that I feel like is the best overall value that has good surface area, decent quality, and also a bit of storage is the IKEA Alex. And we've used this in the past and it is also available in a few different colors. But this desk is one that is just over $100 and it has quite a bit of room to have like a 27 inch or 32 inch monitor, as well as some additional room to have some nice speakers. But below the actual tabletop, you also have room for two compartments of storage, which is super handy. There's also a spot to hold all of your cables and hide them and I also like the way that the frame and the legs are put together because it gives you a bit of a small footrest as well. So that desk I think for the most rooms is the perfect size. When it comes to the peripherals though, it is important to make the right choice because you pretty much spend all of your time at the desk using them. Whether it's the mouse or the keyboard, a great option from Rocket is their Cone Pro Air Mouse, which comes in at a weight of 75 grams. And that includes the battery and everything. And light mouses have been really popular because especially for gaming, not having a wire, but also having great sensitivity and all these great features, including RGB lights, as well as everything in a very lightweight package just increases that gaming experience significantly. Significantly. Beyond the ergonomics though, the weight is really good and the actual pads on the bottom allow the mouse to glide very smoothly and Rocket also sells some mouse pads as well. I also really like the honeycomb texture on the actual clicking mechanism and the tracking is through the OWL-I 19000 DPI optical sensor which makes it highly accurate. It works through dual connectivity of Bluetooth and also the wireless transmitter. So personally, I have the really small wireless transmitter plugged into the back of the computer. But if you have like a laptop, the dongle doesn't stick out at all. It is as small as it could be, but having the Bluetooth option as well is very handy. It charges via USB Type-C and with just a 10 minute charge, it gives you five hours of gameplay. And the Rocket Swarm program also lets you customize everything, including the different buttons, the sensitivity, the lighting options. And those are all very easy to control and customize exactly the way that you would like. The Titan switches are also tactile and fast. And the Titan wheel scroll mechanism is also super lightweight and it has like this like 2D hollow look to it and is also very durable. So overall, if you're looking for a really good lightweight mouse that has all the great features and really good tracking and sensitivity, as well as customizable RGB lights through the honeycomb design, the Cone Pro Air is a great option. In addition to that though, for this setup, we also went with a Rocket keyboard. And this one right here is the Vulcan keyboard, which has the Titan switches with 3.6 millimeters of key travel. And the keycaps themselves are also 50% lighter, which gives you 20% faster input as well. The RGB lighting effects are also a really nice touch. And if you have the Cone Pro Air mouse, you can also just customize all the lighting features within that. And everything is all run through the same Swarm platform to update everything, customize the buttons, and make everything exactly the way that you would like. It is also very easy to clean with a nice and open design. You've also have the number pad and it also comes with a magnetic wrist rest, which makes the ergonomics much better, especially when paired with the kickstand on the back. If you're looking for a budget mice option though, there's also the Burst Pro, which comes in at around $45. And that has a 16,000 DPI sensor and comes in at a weight of 68 grams, but it is wired. With that though, you do also get the Honeycomb Shell LED. So another great item for the desk setup, whether you're doing a podcast, interviews, or also Zoom calls, is the Blue Snowball Mic. And this has been around for quite a while, but the price is really, really affordable nowadays at just around $50, and the sound quality is also really solid. The matte black one right here really matches this room. It has like a nice contrast to it. I'm also gonna leave a link to the paint color down below as well. But honestly, I think it's just like one that looks good, which is very important in any setup, but the sound quality is also a huge improvement from what you're gonna get from like a headset or a built-in one on the computer or phone. So yeah, that is the Blue Snowball microphone. So here's a test of the audio from the Blue Snowball microphone, and I would say for about $50, it is a really good deal. If you plan to record professionally, I do recommend getting a pop filter, however. 
As a speaker, this is another one that I feel like is a really great value, and that is the Logitech Z407. It is a 2.1 channel speaker, so it comes with two of them and also the subwoofer, and it overall gives you up to 80 watts of power. So for a room like this, or in like any bedroom or dorm room setup, it is powerful enough to give you a nice and rich sound, and with the subwoofer, that always makes a huge difference when it comes to bass. I also really like the way they look. I feel like they're very minimal, and they can be positioned both vertical and horizontally, and the stand is included. They also include a wireless button, so if you want to control like the volume, the play pause, and like the connectivity inputs, you can do that from up to 50 feet away. The 20 watt bass also makes a really big difference, and when it comes to overall sound quality, I think for a 2.1 system with a wireless remote at a price of under $80 is a really good deal. Another really good product that brings everything together is the Amazon Echo Show 5. And that came in at a really good price actually, if you're able to find it. I found it at my local Best Buy, but with a lot of home tech items that we have in this entire setup video, you kind of have to choose a platform to control everything. And whether that is Google, Amazon, or Apple, that is really up to you. But the Echo Show 5 is a good accessory because it has a 5.5 inch display, comes in at a good price, has a speaker, and has a camera if you want to use it. But most importantly, it can be used as a clock set schedules, view your calendar and stuff, show the weather, but you can also have all of your home tech connected right to it and control it all from your desk as a central hub. I think it also just looks really stylish, so at the price we chose the Amazon setup for this system because all the products featured in this video are compatible with Amazon Alexa. I know a lot of gamers out there use their headphones, so if you're looking for a great headset that comes in at a price of under $100, this right here is the Rocket Elo. And at the price of under $100, it is a 7.1 system that also has a microphone, but most importantly, it is very light, durable, and comfortable, just like some of the other Rocket products that we've checked out in this video. It has a self-adjusting headband with a loose elastic that is very comfortable and easy to move around. It also doesn't get too hot on the ears after many hours. And it also has some RGB LED accents on the side. And the trans receiver is also really, really small, just like the mouse. It is fully wireless and the battery lasts up to 24 hours, which is always a great touch. And if you're gonna be using them for many hours at a time, of course, comfort is gonna be the most important thing. And the memory foam cups on the side do a really good job of molding to the ear and giving you a good seal without feeling too heavy. Because no matter how good a pair of headphones are, I think a lot of the higher end ones are just too heavy. So after many hours, you feel like it is really clamping up on the ears and these ones don't do that. The next accessory that is also a really nice addition to the entire setup is a Bluetooth speaker. And I know the summer's coming up, but this is one that works very well, whether it is on your desk or on the go, because it comes in at a good size and it is also priced well under $100. For something that is this size, you usually have to look at like the UE Boom, which is a little bit more expensive. But this right here is coming from Sony, which is a company that has a lot of experience in audio, but it also has a good level of bass with the addition to boost it. And there's also a few different sound modes. If you have like a lot of these, you can also connect them all together and have them playing all at once, but I've never found that to be a very important feature. But most importantly, the speaker itself just sounds good, has a nice punchy bass to it, and can connect to your phone very easily through Bluetooth. The battery life is also very long at up to 20 hours, and it's 18 if you have the extra bass enabled. It is also IP67 rated, so if you go outside unlike me, then you can ensure it's not gonna get damaged through some splashes or drops. But yeah, overall I think for the price, you can't go wrong with this and it can live on your desk or on the go. So with any desk setup like this, you're also gonna wanna have a nice router to power everything and also control your smart home effectively. And this right here is the Linksys AC1200 router that comes in at a price of under $40 and it has had a recent price drop. It is dual band with the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz option. So if you have like smart home or also stuff like the computer connected to it for gaming, that is all able to handle under the small router at a really, really good price. And you can also connect your computer right to it because it has four ethernet ports as well and supports speeds of up to 1200 megabits per second. In terms of range, you should expect it to cover around 1,500 square feet. So if you have like an apartment or anything along that size, two or maybe even three bedroom, one router like this is able to provide a connection for the entire place. So the next product that we have right here is the LifeX Mini Bulb. And if you guys remember in the past, we have used LifeX products, but this right here is a bulb that is brighter than the Philips Hue, coming in at 800 lumens. You're able to just control it from your phone and go through 16 million colors, as well as a Kelvin value of 2700 to 9000, which is a really large range, but it also doesn't consume much power, coming in at just nine watts of power draw. I think the brightness is the biggest selling point though, because a lot of the smart bulbs, as I mentioned, are just not very bright. You also don't need a 
hub to connect to it. It uses Wi-Fi, so if you don't want to have to buy like all these different parts or like a starter kit, then LifeX is a good ecosystem to go with. The next product that we have right here is the Belkin Wemo. And as you guys might know, they have the light switches, they also have the smart plugs, and just like a whole suite of home products. And this comes in at a price of under $20, and you can just plug like a lamp or something to it and control it directly from your phone to turn it on or off, and also run it through Amazon Alexa, Google, or also Apple HomeKit. So whatever you have plugged into it can be controlled wirelessly, and there is also a button if you want like a physical on-off switch. What I like about this one in particular is that it is really, really minimal in terms of its size. Size, so it doesn't kind of block the second outlet and doesn't take up too much room because some of the options out there are a little bit bigger which disables the use of like maybe a larger power brick or the other outlet in your port. The NanoLeaf is also another great setup that builds a vibe in this room that doesn't have any windows, but it does come in at a price point that makes it a little bit harder to recommend for a lot of people. Once you get all these tiles put together, it really does add up in price, but you do have full customizability, smart home functions, and it does look really good on the wall, but you do have to keep in mind that once you stick it on the wall, it may damage it, so maybe use like 3M command strips or something, but I do think they look pretty good, and anything that is fully customizable and able to kind of fill up space around it and just add to the vibe it is very important in any gaming setup and I'm sure a lot of people are going to like them but as I mentioned it is a bit expensive. So the webcam that we chose for this setup is definitely on the budget side and it is a Logitech C270 webcam that is 720p but it comes in at a price of about $26. I know 720p is not really going to be very attractive for anyone who is like doing pro streaming or a ton of zoom calls but if you just want like a casual camera for class where it doesn't really matter and you're just going to be like on a tiny screen or maybe for like some gaming and stuff then this is one that I would describe as a product that just gets the job done and comes from a reputable brand. So it's not going to be horrible but it has the basic features and necessities and I feel like audio for the most part is going to be more important when you're streaming or doing like conference calls. So yeah if you want to spend more money there are options out there but for $25 or $26 just put it on top of your monitor it works and that's all you need and instead you can spend money on other accessories that are able to really make a difference in the way you use your desk setup. So when it comes to finding a chair that is a good value overall, and probably not the cheapest one, but one that could last quite a while while still being half the price of the Herman Miller Aeron, it is the one from Autonomous. And they have a few different models that start from $299 and go up from there, but this right here is kind of like their middle model, and it is the Ergo Chair Pro. It is available in six different colors, and I feel like they all look pretty good, but what I like about it is that it has good level of support and comfort, it has all the pieces that are included, and it also includes that headpiece as well but I personally don't think that looks very good. Everything is also very adjustable which on higher end custom chairs you often have to pay for and there's also flexible lumbar support for any seated position as well as reclining to five lockable positions. I think for this desk setup specifically, it looks really good to have like a white and gray finish because there's a lot of contrasting colors and with like the white connection to the desk, it has like a soft feel to it and it just adds to the minimalism of the overall look. I think with a chair it's always important to invest because oftentimes you might get a bad one that isn't comfortable and you might find yourself replacing it quite often, but I also know there's a lot of people who may not want to spend the amount of money that something like a Herman Miller Aeron costs, so this right here is a very good option. Hi everyone, my name is Andy and I'm currently an intern for Justin this summer and I'm also a university student. Um, outside work and school, I'm a freelance photographer and in my free time I like to obviously take photos, go outside and also do some light gaming. So. As a student, Justin wanted me to give my opinions and kind of thoughts on this student setup. And first off, I think it's really clean and minimal. I like the look of it. I like the white desk from Ikea. Uh, the peripherals are also very nice and it kind of matches the vibe of the room with the RGB. In terms of gaming, I usually play first person shooters. So peripherals are obviously really important. So from Rocket here, we have the whole lineup of their headphones, the keyboard and the mouse. And this is all really good for gaming. It has uh, the keyboard has nice mechanical clicky switches and it has the lights that kind of match the vibe of the whole setup with the Nano Leafs. Um, the mouse is also super light so that's really important for first person shooters and it also has matching RGB and all of it looks very good together and it's really high quality. As a student who's been taking online classes recently obviously having a good microphone and webcam is important so we have some budget options here. We have the blue snowball microphone and also the C270 webcam so these are really good for your zoom calls, conference, 
Uh, I also really like the 2.1 speakers on the side, and it's pretty balanced. And then we also have the Bluetooth speaker here that adds on to everything. And I think overall, it's just a very balanced. It's quite budget friendly, which is important for university students. Um, the chair is also very nice for long class. The chair is also very nice for those long Zoom classes, and it's very ergonomic and comfortable. And overall, everything just ties in together very well, and it's very uh, well put together. I also like the RGB that's consistent throughout the whole setup with the nano leaves and the keyboard and the mouse and it just matches the whole kind of vibe of the room and then in terms of the desk of course it's very clean and minimal looking and there's good storage options for students wanting to put their notebooks or pens and pencils in here um, we got two of these and then all the smart home objects like the nano leaves and everything uh, connect to the Echo Show right here and I really like the display on that. It can also be used as just a normal clock and it kind of controls everything. And it's a very nice touch, the overall setup. But otherwise that pretty much wraps it up for some great products for your desk setup that I feel like are a combination of ones that are cheaper, but also others where you might want to spend a little bit more money, but these are going to last you for many years to come. I think the mouse is one that you really want to get right because instead of spending less money on one and having to replace it every couple years when new stuff is coming up, just spending more the first time is going to give you better experience and also longevity, which at the end of the day, after many years, is going to save you money. As always, all the products are going to be linked down below and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more desk setups, let me know what types you want to see and I'll see you all in the next one.